Hello, welcome you all once again to Marine Mechanic videos and today we are going to talk about the horsepower. Recently on one of the Facebook forums we had a question why horsepower and why not donkey power? So the question sounds funny but there is a reason behind it. So in this video we are first going to understand how did the term horsepower originate and then why horsepower? Why not donkey power? We are going to address that question. It all started off with the steam engineer James Watt during 16th and 17th century. On the coal mines in the UK, they were using a pony. A pony is nothing but a small horse. So they used to lift up the coal from the mine and then supply it to the thermal power plants to produce heat energy and further on. So they did not have elephant or any other uh, animals over there. So if James Watt would have been in India where we used, or we used elephants to lift up heavy objects in the past, he would have named it as elephant power. Since they had horse and which is the better performer out of all the animals available, they named it as horsepower. In fact, James Watt named it as horsepower. But why? If we look at the SI units or the system of measurement of power which is available at this scenario, we generally say it as horsepower or watt. Watt is a honor which is given to James Watt for the measurement of power. So during the times of James Watt, what would have been there for measurement of power? It was absolutely nothing. They were just measuring with a simple formula which I am going to demonstrate over here. Power work done per unit time as simple as that and we all know what is work force moved over a distance per unit time so in the UK they were using foot pounds per unit time that is we can call it as minute that is the amount of weight which is measured in pounds moved over a distance which is measured in foot per unit time is minute. So this is the unit of power which with they were dealing about in during the times of James Watt. Now since horse was, was used to lift up the coal, he want to quantify the amount of work done by a single horse. Now let's go to the simple calculation. A small pony, as we discussed earlier, he quantified, I'll just write it as a pony, quantified as 22,000 foot-pounds per minute. Alright, so he just raised the leverage by 50% more, roughly, for a horse, that assuming that it will do 50% more work than a small horse, for a horse, he estimated to be 33,000 foot pounds per minute or you can say if you convert it into seconds it will be roughly somewhere let's say 550 foot pounds per second that's what the rough work done by a single horse now what this means 33,000 you can write it as 330 or oh, sorry I'll write it as pounds over here and foot over here all right so you can divide this 33,000 as 330 pounds and 100 foot. You can even say it as 100 pounds over 330 foot. You can uh, jumble up various combinations, but there is a limitation. You cannot say 33 pounds and 1000 foot per minute because it's not possible. Horse cannot travel at this speed. So, and you can, uh, one more time, you can just say that, you can say 3,300 pounds for 10 foot. That's not possible because the horse is overloaded. So you can work out the combinations which is well within the limits. I mean the practical working limits. So this is what it means about the 33,000 foot pounds per minute. So we have seen till now what is horse power and uh, what is the unit they were using before James Watt uh, time and uh, now we are going to see uh, uh, we have seen a rough calculation 
And the next is why James Watt did this. Alright, so we all know that Watt is the unit of power or you can also use horsepower either way. So these days we use Watt and horsepower. Okay, at 16th or 17th century, before James Watt's time, what was used? Definitely the Watt was not there. So it was James Watt who devised horsepower. So before that, what was there? That is just foot pounds per unit time or minute, I will say. So during James Watt time, there was no horsepower, no Watt, only this unit. Now the question comes, why did he quantify the amount of work done by a horse? We have to think on it. We all know that James Watt engineered the steam engine. When the steam engine was engineered, he wanted to go out to the market and then sell his product. So how will we do it? He has to compare with the current trend and then compare his product. He engineered a steam engine, took it out to the market and then replaced 10 to 50 horses with a single steam engine which the market was completely amazed. Hope you get the point, I will explain it once more. Originally, horse was used for doing all sorts of work, right from lifting up coal to uh, uh, what all, plenty of works, okay? So, he quantified the amount of work done by one horse, which is roughly some 33,000 foot pounds per minute. Alright, so now he has a steam engine which he wants to sell it out to the market. And then what he did is he quantified the amount of work done by a horse and compared with his steam engine and then made a tabular column and presented it to the market stating that his single steam engine can replace 10 to 50 horses with respect to this work. So the market immediately accepted and then they honored him for the invention of steam engine. So that's why he was praising behind or calculating the amount of work done by a horse, which is horsepower. 